Hello, I'm Stacy Snyder, a librarian at Berkeley, and I'm going to talk about our website's searching tools and how to know which one will best fit your needs. Right at the top of our homepage, library.berkeley.edu, you'll find our most important resources. First, let's take a look at the different menu options next to the search bar. Starting with course reserves, this is where you can see what items your teacher has put on hold for assignments. You can search by the name of the class, instructor, or the course ID. Here you'll find links to digital resources you can access with your OnePass login and to see which items are available to borrow for a short loan period inside one of our libraries. And back to the search bar, next are the catalogs for each of our libraries. You can select one of these to search for physical items and their shelving locations. The Albert Alfin Library is filled with resources for the conservatory community, and the Stan Getz Library holds items for the college and for our Creative Technology Center. But all members of Berkeley can visit and use both libraries. In these catalogs, you can use filters along the top and the sides of the page to further narrow down your search. And last for our search bar, but definitely not least, is the augmented search. I sometimes call this the Google of our library website. Using this tool, you'll not only find items from our library catalogs, but also results that include online articles from journals, magazines, and newspapers we subscribe to via database subscriptions. And because it is like Google, you will get a lot of results along with the search filters that can help you focus your results. However, unlike Google, your results won't include things like company websites, Wikipedia articles, and other online resources that either might not be as fact-checked or not intended for educational purposes. The augmented search is a good place to start, but the number of search results can be a bit overwhelming and the search filters might be too basic. So let's go over some of the pages linked under the search bar that will include more precise resources, including some that are not part of the augmented search. First is the journal and magazine title search. You can use this to search for the name of a scholarly or peer-reviewed publication or magazine titles. These results will tell you which databases store that publication's articles, and you can also navigate to a specific issue that you'd like to read. And next, let's take a look at our subject and research guides. These guides are put together by library staff members and highlight useful resources on different topics studied at Berkeley. Search for a topic or browse through the list of guides to see what's available. And back to the homepage, we've got this button to visit where you can reserve an available workstation or equipment from our Creative Technology Center. And you can use this page to book an appointment with a peer trainer as well and they can help you with a project and music software. And lastly, our A to Z database search is a very helpful directory to find all of our specialized resources. This includes databases missing from the augmented search along with links to free and subscription-based websites where you can access these through our Berkeley portals. Included here are databases and websites that host streaming video and audio, music industry tools, and much, much more. And just like other search platforms, you can also use these filters at the top to organize the list to find what you need or just use the search bar for a quick shortcut. I hope this video helps with your searching. Thanks for watching and please reach out to us if you have any questions.